The USS Sailfish was a silent assassin in the Second World War that struck the Japanese military and civilian freight ships. The submarine sent eight of them, including an escort carrier, to the bottom of the ocean. That combat record is impressive on its own and netted the crew a presidential unit citation. But the really surprising thing is that all of this happened after the sub sank in a 1939 accident. Originally christened the USS Squalus, SS-192 was a cutting-edge submarine that could dive to a depth of 250 feet and patrol for 75 days and 11,000 miles, all while hunting enemy ships and subs. Unfortunately, while the Squalus was undergoing a diving test in 1939, it suddenly flooded and sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. 26 men were killed in the initial sinking, but 33 were able to survive in the stern of the ship by closing the hatches. At the time, no one had successfully rescued submariners from depths of greater than 20 feet. The Squalus was sitting under 240 feet of cold Atlantic waters. Another submarine, the USS Sculpin, raced to find the lost Squalus, and the USS Falcon, a submarine tender, sailed towards the wreck with the new McCann rescue chamber. The McCann was a specialized diving bell that allowed rescuers to descend to a wrecked submarine and create an airlock around the hatch. It could then ferry survivors to the surface. Ultimately, the rescue was successful and all 33 people who survived the initial accident were rescued after a long, grueling 39 hours. The Navy took another look at the wreck and realized that SS-192 could likely be salvaged. So they raised it from the deep, rinsed it out, and repaired it. Rechristened the USS Sailfish, the submarine was sent to the Asiatic fleet. Sailfish was operating out of Luzon in the Philippines when the Japanese struck Pearl Harbor and America was dragged into the Second World War. Sailfish began conducting wartime patrols the same day. The sub struggled to find and engage enemy ships on the first few patrols. But on February 28, 1942, Sailfish was operating out of a Dutch base in Java when it spotted a Japanese aircraft transport escorted by four destroyers. Sailfish fired four torpedoes and landed two hits on the transport, destroying it. Sailfish went on to destroy seven more Japanese ships over the course of the war and damage another. A few of the kills were cargo and transport ships, relieving a little of the pressure on marines and soldiers fighting ashore. The crew's greatest achievement, however, came on their 10th wartime patrol. Just before midnight on December 3rd, the sailfish spotted Japanese warships in a severe storm. Four ships, including an escort carrier, were sailing together. Sailfish fired a four-torpedo spread at the carrier and scored two hits on her. As the Japanese ships counterattacked, Sailfish dove for safety but didn't leave the battle. Five hours later, Sailfish fired a three-torpedo spread at the damaged carrier and scored two more hits. Finally, at 9.40 that morning, Sailfish hit the ship with two more torpedoes and the escort carrier Chuyo sank into the Pacific. The crew received a presidential unit citation for this engagement, but they later learned that American POWs had been aboard the Chuyo. Unfortunately, 21 American submariners from the USS Sculpin, the same submarine that helped rescue the crew of the Squalus, were aboard and 20 died when the Chuyo sank. One of the saddest cases of irony of the entire Second World War. After the war, the Sailfish was decommissioned and sold for scrap like so many other successful U.S. naval vessels. But the sailfish and her crew should be remembered for their great actions in the Pacific theater that helped to turn the tide against the Japanese. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more content. Chisone! Chisone!